Hey guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Kylie and today we're going to be talking about Axie Infinity. Now we can easily do a one hour video talking about all of the aspects of Axie Infinity, but today I'm just going to keep it brief. I'm going to be exploring what Axie Infinity is and whether or not you can make money from it. Just a heads up, my background is uh, financial journalism. I am not a financial advisor, so don't take this as personal advice. Okay, so what even is Axie Infinity? Well, according to their white paper, Axie Infinity is a Pokemon inspired universe where anyone can earn tokens through skilled gameplay and contributions to the ecosystem. Players can battle, collect, raise, and build a land-based kingdom for their pets. They say the mission behind their game was to educate people about the world of blockchain technology. Innocent little vision to help the world. Okay, so why should you care about it? Well, in early August, the game hit 1 million daily active players and became the first NFT project to hit 1 billion all-time trade volume. An easy way to look at it is that Axie Infinity is essentially a play to earn game. Currently, some of the biggest games in the world, such as Fortnite, operate on a free to play model. So this is essentially where players can sign up for free and they only pay for virtual in-game items, which oftentimes you need in order to win the game. The play to earn model takes a different approach because it gives gamers ownership over their assets. It sets them up in a game economy where players can take a cut of the game's profit or because they own the assets in the game, they can see those assets increase in value over time. So instead of all of the profits going to the game developers, some of that comes back to the players. And this is all possible thanks to blockchain technology, which can facilitate the creation and transfer of in-game tokens. Okay, so first you need to understand the difference between AXS, which is the Axie Infinity Shard token, and SLP, which is the Smooth Love Potion. So Axie Infinity Shares, or AXS, are the governance tokens that are used in the Axie universe. Owning these allows holders to vote in important decisions about the game, similar to holding shares. And they're used kind of as a proxy for investor sentiment about the game. Smooth Love Potion, or SLP on the other hand, could kind of be thought of as like the fuel of the game's economy. It's what players earn and it's the key ingredient that is required to breed new axes. Okay, so when you first start the game, the first thing you need to do is purchase three axes. And I was shocked to learn at this point that that would set you back about 1200 US dollars. It's a pretty big uh, initial investment we're talking about here, especially if you've never played the game and you've got no idea if you're even gonna like it. But you need to do this in order to enter the game. So you battle your axes against others, and if you win, you're rewarded with uh, Smooth Love Potions, or SLP. So where does the money part come in? Like, where do you get your profits? Well, basically, SLP is needed to breed new axes. And as we've established, new players need to buy axes with Ethereum. So let me put it simply, new players buy axes in order to earn SLP. SLP is used to create more axes, which new players will buy to enter the game. The profits of these axie sales will go to the players and the game takes a cut of that. It's about a 4.25% cut on all transactions of axes in the marketplace by charging fees on the creation of AXS tokens and SLP. So can you make good money from it? I'm gonna break this down into two parts. The first way you make money is as a player. The second is as an investor. So as a player, you make money by playing the game, earning SLP and breeding new axes, which new players entering the game will buy. All right, but how much can you actually earn when you play? Okay, so I couldn't find any official data on this, but I did find some uh, news reports and some blogs, which um, gave some insights here. FX Street says it takes between 50 to 80 days for traders to recover their initial investment of $800. Or nowadays it looks like more like $1,000 and then they can expect to earn anywhere between $10 to $15 a day by playing the game. And then FX Crypto also reports that players who invest several hours a day earn anywhere between $8 to $40 depending on their Axies powers and incentive during gameplay. So that doesn't sound like you can really earn a lot by playing, but there are reports that top players are earning a lot more than this. So a report by The Conversation, which is a well-regarded news source, reported that top players are earning about 1,500 SLP a day, 
But bear in mind the value of SLP does fluctuate compared to the USD. In mid-July it was trading at 0.35 US cents. So 1,500 SLP back then would have been about $525 US a day. To get a better idea of exactly how the game worked, I decided to chat to somebody I knew who was based in the Philippines, who plays uh, often as a side hobby, and he's also got friends that play it full time and it's their main source of income. Could it be your job full time? Yes. Um, oh. on, our, on our guild, um, I think majority of them, they're doing actually full time. Wow. Um, since they're the manager, so they're, they're breeding, they're getting scholars uh, to play for them. And then afterwards, they're earning passively. But um, yes, it would really take maybe um, a month or two before you could get the return of investment. But after that, um, I, I guess it will be good. So how much do you think you could take home? One of my friends, uh, just by playing, yeah. um, they're already uh, he's already earning $4,806 monthly. Per month? Yes. Wow. Oh, that's yes. crazy. Yes, I know. <laughs> It depends on them and how well they uh, are, how well did they play on that day, on how, okay. uh, how much SLP they will be earning. But the main yeah. source of income or return of investment will be on um, breeding axes and then selling it over to the market. The one who is earning the four thousand is part of the top ten um, players here in the Philippines. So it seems to depend on how devoted you are to the game, whether you're a top player, um, and probably whether you got in early. Considering some of the top players in the world are earning around $4,000 per month USD, it's about $1,000 per week, that's a pretty solid income, depending on, uh, you know, where you live. For example, $4,000 uh, USD per month would go pretty far somewhere like the Philippines, but it wouldn't go very far somewhere like Sweden. And from what I can see, the average player earns around 10 to 30 US dollars a day from the game. So in many countries around the world, this would be below the minimum wage level and in fact, below the uh, amount of money that you need in order to uh, live. In fact, it would be below the poverty level. That being said, $10 to $30 in uh, some countries around the world might make it worth making this your full-time gig. The other way to make money from the game is by investing in it. For example, you could invest in the SLP or AXS token. You can buy these tokens on cryptocurrency exchanges. So the same way that you'd buy Bitcoin or Ethereum, you can also buy on a lot of them now, AXS and SLP. Problem with SLP is that it's an uncapped utility token. So a utility token is a blockchain asset that people buy with the intention of using it for something in the future. The uncapped part just means that there is no limit to the total. So the issue here is that SLP increases as more players join the game to farm and sell. Unless the economics in the game change, this drives the price of SLP down. So there's a lot of volatility with the supply and demand of SLP. And it's a similar story with AXS. In my mind, this makes this a pretty risky investment. Okay, so what's the verdict? Is Axie Infinity a good investment? I think NFTs and play to earn is a really interesting space to be in right now. On the downside, look, there are some obvious risks around the business model, um, competitors that are quickly coming up, and volatility with AXS and SLP tokens. I wouldn't join Axie unless it was just to have some fun and you know maybe earn a, a little bit on the side, but I wouldn't rely on it as a future source of income or as, as any kind of major investment. Axie Infinity is clearly in a strong position being one of the market first in this space, but from what I've been told from others that have played the game, the game itself isn't actually super exciting. There are other more fun games out there, and I think once they get that balance right between earn to play and an amazing game to play, that's going to be the real winner. That being said, when you buy these NFTs, you can potentially use them in other games that develop. And you know, maybe the developers from Axie could create more games or they could expand on this universe. I need to do a bit more digging to understand first whether or not it's worth investing, you know, a thousand bucks plus just to start playing the game. But it's a really exciting place to be in and I'm looking forward to digging a little deeper into this and seeing what other games are popping up. Thanks for watching this video. What do you think of Axie? Have you played it before? Do you think it's a good investment? Have you bought tokens? And how much do you make? Leave a comment in the comment section below.